The best places to visit in New Mexico, USA New Mexico is a constituent state of the United States of America. It became the 47th state of the Union in 1912. New Mexico ranks fifth among the 50 United States states in terms of total area and is bounded by Colorado to the north, Oklahoma and Texas to the east. New Mexico has some of the flattest land as well as some of the most rugged mountains in the country and it was described as the land of enchantment. The highest mountain peaks, Wheeler Peak and Trucius Peak are in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the north-central part of the state. The Rocky Mountains extend into the north-central part of the state. First place to visit Santa Fe, the capital of the state of New Mexico. It is the fourth largest city in the state and the seat of Santa Fe County. The city was founded by Spanish colonists in 1610. It is the oldest state capital city in the United States, Santa Fe meaning, Holy Faith, in Spanish. The area of Santa Fe was originally occupied by indigenous Tanan peoples, who lived in numerous Pueblo villages along the Rio Grande. The city is well known as a center for arts that reflect the multicultural character of the city. It has been designated as a UNESCO Creative City in Design, Crafts and Folk Art. D. H. Lawrence said, Touch the country of New Mexico and you will never be the same again. Taos Taos Pueblo is an ancient Pueblo belonging to a Tiwa-speaking Native American tribe of Puebloan people. The Pueblos are considered to be one of the oldest continuously inhabited communities in the United States. This has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Taos Pueblo's most prominent architectural feature is a multi-storied residential complex of reddish-brown adobe, built on either side of the Rio Pueblo. The Pueblo's website states it was probably built between 1000 and 1450. Carlsbad Caverns National Park is a United States national park in the Guadalupe Mountains of southeastern New Mexico. The park is home to world-famous and beautifully decorated caverns as well as 46,000-plus wild acres of pristine Chihuahuan Desert. The 300 limestone caves in a fossil reef are laid down by an inland sea 250 to 280 million years ago. The Park Museum contains approximately one million cultural resource artifacts that are being preserved and protected. The interior of the cavern is fascinating, astonishing, creating an extraordinary scenery through its delicate formations, illuminated, giving to the cave an enigmatic ambience. Albuquerque is a destination like no other. This is a must-see destination in the American Southwest. Whether you want to shop for authentic Native American jewelry, try hot air ballooning, explore living history museums, enjoy Albuquerque events and festivals, sample local cuisines or hit the golf courses and spas, Albuquerque has you covered. Albuquerque offers an array of offbeat museums. It is possibly the best family vacation destination, having something for all interests. The city has been voted among the top 10 cities for families several times. Charco Canyon National Historic Park is a major unit of the United States National Park System located within Navajo Nation in northwest New Mexico. It preserves extensive ancestral pueblos of prehistoric American Indian communities. Charco Canyon's largest pueblo, Pueblo Bonito, is on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Charco was a special gathering place where many peoples and clans converged to share their ceremonies, traditions, and knowledge. It is also an enduring enigma for researchers. Was Charco the hub of a turquoise trading network established to acquire macaws, copper bells, shells, and other commodities from distant lands? Did Charco distribute food and resources to growing populations when the climate failed them? Was Charco the center place binding a region together by a shared vision? We may never fully understand Charco. 
White Sands National Monument Spectacular Dunes of Pure White Gypsum, covering 275 square miles, one of the most magical places in the southwest, especially at sunset or sunrise. Monument has a few trails and viewing areas, while off-trail exploration is allowed in most areas. The gypsum dunes support a limited range of wildlife. Walking through the dunes is an unforgettable experience, often there are no other footprints ahead, just wind created ripples and occasional lizard tracks. An overwhelming sense of peace and stillness descends, and when the sun finally dips below the distant San Andres Mountains, for a few minutes the land is bathed in a mysterious light. As the sand themselves seem to glow while the horizon on all Bandelier National Monument protects over 33,000 acres of rugged but beautiful canyon and mesa country as well as evidence of a human presence here going back over 11,000 years. Petroglyphs, dwellings carved into the soft rock cliffs, and standing masonry walls pay tribute to the early days of a culture that still survives in the surrounding communities. The ancestral Pueblo people lived here from approximately 1150 CE to 1550 CE. They built homes carved from the volcanic tuff and planted crops in mesotop fields. Corn, beans, and squash were central to their diet, supplemented by native plants and meat from deer, rabbit and squirrel. Kasha Kathu were tent rocks National Monument is located approximately 40 miles southwest of Santa Fe and 55 miles northeast of Albuquerque. It is on the southeast side of the Val and Toledo Calderas. Large collapse features that formed during voluminous eruptions in the Jemez Mountain volcanic field 1.61 and 1.25 million years ago. Ten Rocks encompasses a fascinating landscape in the southeastern Jemez Mountains. Kasha Kathu were means, white cliffs in Carissan, the traditional language of the nearby Pueblo de Cochiti. As time passes, the capstones are gradually undermined and the rocks topple, leaving an unprotected cone. Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument is a U.S. National Monument created to protect muggy and cliff dwellings in the Gila Wilderness on the headwaters of the Gila River. The monument landscape ranges in elevation from around 5,700 to 7,300 feet above sea level and contains steep-sided canyons cut by shallow spring rivers and mesas. In the late 1200s, people of the Mugian culture decided it would be a good place to call home. They built rooms, crafted pottery and raised children in the cliff dwellings for about 20 years. Then the Mugian moved on, leaving the walls for us as a glimpse into the past. 27 massive radio antennas on the high plains of New Mexico search for life on other planets. The very large array is a centimeter wavelength radio astronomy observatory located in central New Mexico on the plains of San Agustin, between the towns of Magdalena and Atl. Astronomers using the very large array have made of key observations of black holes and protoplanetary disks around young stars discovered magnetic filaments and trace complex gas motions at the Milky Way's center, probed the universe's cosmological parameters, and provided new knowledge about the physical mechanisms that produce radio emission. Thanks for watching my video, please like, comment and subscribe.